John, we've been together for how many years now? I lost count. It has been wonderful all the way, but do you know something? What? Do you know I love you with all my heart? No, I am not sure about that. Why would you say that? Are you saying that after all this while you still doubt my love for you? It's not that. It's just that a lot of people make such confession that is easily carried away by the wind. So I am not really moved by such words. Do you really love me? Like for real? Yes, I do and with all of my heart. Do you know something? And what else? You want to blackmail me because I don't believe you? Why would I do that? Do you know I can actually sacrifice my life for you? You would die for my stead? That was easy to say but I doubt you would do it. I promise that nothing will separate my love for you. I will never love any man aside you. I will also give my life for you to show how much I love you. I thought you were joking with my confession? We have been through thick and thin. I know that it came from your heart. I will never forfeit my affection for you. Can I ask you a question? Sure, anything. What is something that frightens you the most? <laughs> Where is this coming from? I really want to know. Okay, what I fear most is losing you to any other person. I will not be happy with myself. Why should I believe you? Because I mean it. And you know that. Even till my demise, I promise to stay with you. I am also willing to give my all to you. I vow that all I do will be to please you. Let this soul tie between us remain forever. Thank you for loving me. I should thank you for coming into my life. It has been filled with blissful wonders. Um. You said you were going for an appointment today? Did you cancel it? No, it was rescheduled for noon time. I would love you to stay the whole day with me. I promise to be back later this evening. Being far from you is like someone in the desert. That's funny. I'll be expecting you this evening for dinner. I will be making your favorite. That's my love. I have to run off now. And where are you coming from? Um. From church, of course. I told you I was going to church. And how long were you supposed to spend in your church? We started by 9 a.m. in the morning and we finished by 3 p.m. Why the questions? Why would you spend such hours when you have something to attend to back at home? Something like what? I don't understand where this is coming from. And it's not like it's the first time I stay that long in church. Henceforth, you should reduce that time and come home early enough. And why should I do that? You have no right to tell me how to serve God. How dare you speak to me in that manner? I own you and I have the right to do whatever I like with you, because you are mine. What? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way my love. I just wanted to. I've been waiting for you all day. Oh my goodness, that didn't come out right. I'm sorry, I just miss you when you stay out for long hours. You look nice. Thank you. Where are you off to this morning? Dressed like this? To see a friend. What friend? You look too sophisticated to be going out to just see a friend. But I don't see anything wrong with how I look. I don't like it though. You should change it or you stay home. I don't understand you, John. I have tried to please you in every way, but you don't seem to be satisfied with anything I do. You always have something to complain about. Don't you ever get it? I'm teaching you how to be a woman. You act like you know what you're doing, but you still behave so immature and irresponsible, I guess no one has told you that. What are you talking about? You can't teach me how to be a woman. And you can't control every aspect of my life. Excuse me, I'm going out. Whatever. I'm just trying to help you. And for the record, no man wants to be with a woman dressed like that. Sarah, my love, why are you crying? I thought you were going out. Why do you hurt me with your words? I'm just trying to protect you. 
This is not protection, you find a way to break my spirit all the time. You make me feel less of myself. Have you started doubting your love for me? You know that's not true. Have I ever been bad to you? No. But... Have I ever taken you for granted? No Chris, I just... So why are you crying? You know all of this is for your benefit. It's for you and I to be better. I know. If you know that, then stop acting up. I'm exhausted, I need to eat something. And since you aren't going out, go make me something to eat. You know how I love you? Now let me show you. Is texting John Mai this time of the night. Pregnant. John is seeing someone else. Sarah, are you okay? You don't look too good. John is seeing someone else and she's pregnant for him. What? I feel like I've been used. I warned you against cohabiting with a man you're not married to, but you wouldn't listen. I thought we would be together forever. I took this as our courtship phase. You don't need to stay in a man's house to court him. He made me believe it was okay. What about the Bible? That should be your guide, not what John says. John has made me do so much heinous things. I've terminated two pregnancies under his roof. What? And you think this is okay, you terminating a pregnancy for John? I didn't want to ruin his life. But he's busy getting someone else pregnant. Maybe it was a mistake. Now you are pissing me off. Are you defending him? I just can't believe he could do this to me. Are you in a covenant with John? We made a covenant not to ever leave each other. So you're in a soul tie relationship with John, you're a Christian having a covenant soul tie relationship with someone you're not married to? What have I done? You cannot serve two masters at the same time. Wait, what is this that I'm seeing? Where did the scars come from? Don't tell me. He said he hits me because he loves me and wants me to do better. What? Sarah, you have to leave this situation immediately, or you might regret it. I can't just leave him. He'll be alone, all by himself. Who will take care of him? Who will love him like I do? Who will cater for his needs? For real? Are you seriously saying this? Sarah, you're God's child, and he loves you. Do you really think this is what God wants from you? Sarah, oh my goodness. What has John done to my friend? But what if? No one else loves me. Who told you that? John? Sarah, he got someone else pregnant. What is wrong with me? No way, enough is enough. I have to confront John. Why are you so late? Didn't you check the time? I was not conscious of the time. You were not what? I told you, you should be back before night time. Why are you so stubborn? You don't listen to me. I just told you that I was not aware of the time. You don't need to yell at me, I'm not a child. When did you learn to talk back at me in this manner? How dare you? Who is Nikki? Excuse me? The lady pregnant for you. How did you know that? Who is she? I had a fling with her once. And she's pregnant for you? I doubt the pregnancy is mine, this shouldn't bother you. You abuse me, degrade me, make me undergo two abortions. I don't think I can do this anymore, this is not the kind of relationship I want. God does not. Haha, <laughs> now you want to talk about God. Remember we took an oath and vowed never to leave each other. It's me and you forever. We are not married you have no right over me. We made a vow to each other, and one person cannot break that vow. 
It's me and you forever. No. No way. It's over, John. I can't wait to see you come crawling back when no man wants you. Let that be my problem. Good luck, John. Hmm. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for the sins I've committed against you, against your teachings, against your commandments. Father, please forgive me. Father, I made an ungodly soul tie, and I need your power to break free. Father, please open my eyes, I can't remember who I was before I met John. Lord, please break the fog from my eyes. I bring the cross of my Lord Jesus Christ between me and John. I break every soul tie and every unholy bond with John. I command their human spirit bound back to their body, and I send all of their sin and warfare and corruption bound back to the throne of Christ in their life. I forbid them or their warfare or their sin to transfer to me. And I allow only the love of God, only the bond of the Holy Spirit, between us. I set myself free by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm giving her one week, she'll come running back. Ha <laughs> ha. You are mine Sarah, mine, forever. Have you forgotten how useless and unfortunate you are? Haven't you realized that ever since you left him, no man has approached you? I'm free in the name of Jesus, I'm not under any authority covenant, I'm in covenant with the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Free? You will always be a slave and a servant forever no matter what you do. There is no remedy for you. You are mine forever. <laughs> I set myself free in the name of Jesus. Are you okay ma'am? Do I look like I'm not? Oh, sorry to bother you. I saw you talking to yourself. Sarah, are you okay? I've been peeping through my window waiting for you to go home. Is everything alright? I'm in torment. I feel like ending it all. What is going on? I was in this relationship with a man. And I think I'm tied by my vows and promises to him. I can't even remember what vows were made between us. I'm stuck and can't do anything with my life. I met someone recently and I just couldn't be with him. Every time I find myself in a relationship, I become a monster for no reason. And then I'm left alone, I have these constant dreams of this man. And a spirit keeps trying to pull me back. I don't know what to do. You made an ungodly vow with this man, and he may possess a spirit that is stronger than you think. Ungodly vows are promises or commitments we make that do not glorify God. When you put someone or something before God, you tend to be committed to that thing or person. This person becomes your Lord and Savior because you gave them the authority. You tend to idolize this person, loving them above the Lord. Anytime there is a strong emotional attachment, obsession, and inability to stop thinking about someone, it's most likely because of an ungodly soul tie. Soul ties open the door to demons by linking your soul to another person in a way that does not honor or glorify God. When we value anything more than we value God, we have made that thing our God. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 14 says, Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. As a result of these ungodly ties and vows, demons and wrong influences are invited into those lives to control. Demons of rejection, hopelessness, hate, isolation, some might be depression. All these are as a result of those mere words. What can I do? I'm exhausted. The good news is that only God can help break those vows and restore our life back. But first, you will have to confess your fault to God and denounce those vows so we can break those strong ties that have affected you negatively. Okay, I'm ready. Let's pray together inside the chapel. Lord Jesus Christ, your daughter has come before you with all of her heart to accept you back into her heart. For your word says in Romans 3 verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We have rebelled and gone against your word. Please have mercy, and accept her back as your daughter. In Ephesians, it says we are not wrestling against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers. We have to break that strong spirit hovering around you, preventing you from moving on in life. I want you to renounce those vows before God.
I renounce any ungodly soul ties formed between myself and John as a result of fornication and word pronunciation. I break and sever all ungodly soul ties with John that I may have had an idolatrous relationship with. I apply the blood of Jesus and cut them. Lord Jesus, I ask that you heal me in all the areas that the enemy tried to steal from me. Gather up and bind all the broken places, all the pain, the hurts, wounds, regrets, and vulnerabilities. Jesus, bind up and heal my broken heart and return any parts that were ever given away, Lord. Amen. Lord, heal me to full restoration in all areas, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, psychological, and relational, heal me wholly and completely. Restore my memory and cognitive processes. Amen. Lord, close off and destroy doorways, portals, access points that have been created in my life. Father God, I ask that you grow me in my faith and in my trust in you. Thank you Lord. Thank you for my freedom. Amen. Amen. One last thing, you must do away with any gifts, items or clothing, text messages, pictures, cards, or anything that may remind you or bring to your remembrance such a person you just broke a soul tie with. Okay. By the power of the Holy Ghost you are set free. Amen. You and Sarah are still not back together, you swore she was coming back. She will, she is not as strong as she thinks. Are you sure about that? Yes I am. No man can be with her, her body and soul belongs to me. I don't think he knows what's happening. What's happening? Um, your girlfriend, I mean your ex is happily married. No, that's not possible. She can't get married. Bro, she's married. I guess she must have blocked you on social media. She got married last week. No. 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 How did she break? <laughs> Man, this is so funny. He really believes himself. Soul ties are formed through close friendships, through vows, commitments, and promises, and through physical intimacy. Not all soul ties are bad. But God wants us to have healthy relationships that build us up, provide wisdom, and give godly counsel. God will strategically bring good relationships into our lives to form healthy soul ties. When David had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own life, 1 Samuel 18 verse 1. In contrast, Satan always brings counterfeits into our lives to form unhealthy soul ties. A few ways unhealthy soul ties can be formed include, abusive relationships. Physically, sexually, emotionally, verbally. Adulterous affairs. Intimacy before marriage. Obsessive entanglements with a person, giving them more authority in your life than you give to God. <laughs>